It's been three months since schools closed in March due to the coronavirus pandemic. But just like several other students forced to stay at home, 15-year-old Abida Alabi finds other ways to keep herself busy and stay ahead of her class. Abida, an SS2 student of Jaconde Estate Comprehensive Senior College, Abesoy Paja, with some of her schoolmates, have developed an electronic trash bot. Using easily accessible materials, they creatively make one as part of their efforts to make an impact on their immediate surroundings. We realize this is a school environment. Looking around, you see different dead materials. Why not create something that when they see, they'll be attracted to go to? Because we know, like most people, when they see new things, they want to do it. So we decided to create something that is to be attractive. You know, most people, they see it as being there. Like that mindset of just going there and dropping it is stressful to them. But when they know the thing will just open, then they throw it in, then they'll be excited to use it which is why we decided to create it. The e trash bot is a device that aids the proper disposal of refuse, reducing the cost and frequency of waste collection. There are a lot of challenges actually, because um, for example now, when we wanted to make the lift, something that was going to lift it up, what we wanted to think of originally was not working. We used different ideas, we used um, the cover of, um, of a mineral, a mineral cover, a bottle water cover, but we realized a lot of things were actually missing. Because you know, when we want to make the um the trash box, the original does been the, the original does been um the cover, it's too heavy for the lift to bring it off. So we decided to get something lighter, like a like waste from a printer's from a printer's workshop. So we used the waste since it was lighter, then we cut it into the preferred shape that we wanted, then we put the sticker all over it then we realized it was going to work. Then for the the lift, the rope that was supposed to lift it up, not just any rope can lift it up. We tried using um thread, we tried using different things, but then we realized why not use something that's thin and at the same time strong. So we decided to get the trine from shoemakers to lift it up. So uh, that worked too. So it's not just about using foreign materials actually. We also brought up different like I told you the cover was waste from a printer's workshop. Then the trine was from Shoemaker. Then we used the stick switch to hold it under it. Then most things are just from our environment, not things that we have to stress ourselves to buy. Abida's learning is not restricted to what's obtainable within the four walls of her school as she engages in trainings that help broaden her knowledge. And we also hold online meetings. So we're also taught how to make websites. We've also been holding meetings on like different trainings on programming. I've also been able to conquer the graphics, the, the graphics design aspects. Yeah. Apart from creating the e-trash bots to aid the disposal of refuse and also change the mindset of people in our community, Abida and her team have also developed a smart walker for the visually impaired and a maternal care website. The smart walker is a walking stick which aids blind people in their walking because looking around today we also notice when you see a blind person you must see a little kid and those kids are supposed to be in school so we decided to just create something that would like enable the people to be independent on their own it comes with them um, with a light that will enable other people around the blind person know that someone is coming and also the poser that will alert the person of the obstacle in front We are working on the maternal care web app. It's um, a website which enables pregnant women and expecting mothers to have access to certified and quality hospitals and medical health care. Then on the app, we also have the postpartum services because some people, even after safe delivery, their children still die or they themselves die. So the postpartum service will enable, will enable us keeping track with the pregnant woman within zero to six weeks after the childbirth to ensure that the mother and the baby are both safe. So on the website, we are collaborating with World Health Organization and the NCDC because we also have the COVID-19 updates to on it. Abida, who would love to become a computer programmer, a writer and a motivational speaker in future, intends to pass whatever knowledge she acquires this period to her peers once schools resume.
Ja, bardzo dziękuję.